Hi and welcome to the fourth ARCHICAD video tutorial for beginners. Uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, setting your working units in ARCHICAD and then I'm going to be talking about the tracker. Uh, first things first, let's save our ARCHICAD file that we've worked on so far. The way you do that is as in any other program, you go to file, save as, then you navigate to whichever folder you would like to have your file saved into and you just name your file and hit on save. So the way you set your working units in ARCHICAD is by going to options, project preferences, working units. And over here uh, next to the model unit I usually work in meters so I hit here meters. If you work with imperial um, units you choose whichever you want to use this for but for this tutorial I'm going to stick with meters and I usually put here three decimals everything else for now I'm going to leave the same but this is also where you can change your layout units and angle units ok now I'm going to hit ok so next I'm going to be activating my wall tool and I'm going to start by doing one click over here as you can see this feedback appears and this is basically your tracker. This is what helps you uh, to draw more precisely in ARCHICAD to input uh, your dimensions and your angles and your coordinates. The way you can start inputting your dimensions in your tracker is either by starting to write out numbers. So let's say we want to do a 12 meter wall. If this is all you want to input you can just hit enter and you have a 12 meter wall created. Okay, now I'm going to do another click over here and let's say I want to do a 12 meter wall but at an angle of 45 degrees. What I'm going to do is write on my keyboard 12 and then in order to move down in my uh, tracker I'm just going to hit tab. And as you can see I can now input the angle, so 45 degrees. If I hit tab again I have the uh, X coordinate, Y coordinate and Z coordinate. But I'm not going to input the coordinates right now, I'm just going to leave the distance and the angle, so I'm just going to leave everything as it is and hit enter. So what we have now here is a 12 meter long wall at an angle of 45 degrees. If you had previously used an uh, older version of ARCHICAD, you might be used to inputting coordinates instead of distance, and the tracker actually gives you that option as well. So if we do one click, and we don't want to input the distance or the angle, all, all we need to do is hit tab once, twice, and the third time you can see that the X coordinate appeared. We can actually, let's do um, the X coordinate to be at 3 meters, and I'm gonna hit tab again, and I'm gonna do the Y coordinate to be at 1 meters. Okay, so you can see that now uh, this wall is at an angle because we input it the x coordinate to be at 3 meters horizontally and y coordinate which is the vertical displacement is at 1 meters. In order to verify that the walls that we just drew are the length that we actually wanted them to be, all we need to do is we need to activate the measure tool either by clicking over here on this icon or by hitting M. So I'm gonna actually hit M as you can see that uh, tool got activated and I can just do one click and the second I'm not clicking yet actually but if I did click I could continue on but I can see that this length is 12 meters if I go upwards I can uh, measure another distance and as you can see the um, tracker also tells you the area of the highlighted uh, area on your screen so this is how you can measure that what you have drawn is actually what you wanted to have Over here we can also verify that this wall is at the coordinate that we wanted. I'm just going to hit M again. I'm going to do one click over here. And I can see that the horizontal displacement, which is the Y coordinate, is at 3 meters. And the vertical displacement is at 1 meters. So that is how you measure your drawn out elements in ARCHICAD. Okay, so I just want to show you a few more things. 
let's go here where I'm gonna keep my wall tool selected and I'm gonna go here to the straight geometry method and I'm going to long press on it and select the second option which is the chained option. Now if I start drawing a wall here I'm gonna do one click and I'm gonna go upwards. If you remember from my previous tutorials in order to make sure that you go perfectly vertically or perfectly horizontally all you need to do is hold, hold down the shift key. If you hold down the shift key you can see that the wall that you're drawing is locked on a vertical position. Uh, in order to also input distance all you need to do is hold down the shift key and at the same time press tab. So I can input the distance which is at 3 meters. You can see that if I move my mouse the wall still stays in place so that's the use of the shift key. I'm gonna hit enter. Then I'm gonna go horizontally. I'm gonna again hold down the shift key and press on tab. I'm gonna input 6 meters. I'm gonna hit enter. I'm gonna go downward and here I don't have to actually input the distance because I can see these little useful guidelines. They are getting highlighted and I can just click over here which is going to be at 3 meters. Which is perfectly horizontally in, um, in relationship with this point over here. And in order to close this wall I'm just going to do another click over here. So that is what you should remember from this video. How to use your tracker in ARCHICAD how to measure different elements and how you can change your working units. I hope this was useful to you and I will see you in the next one. Bye!